this structure that you see here, you know, kind of dome shaped. The top has been removed, but it was dome shaped. You can see the sides here is kind of a, a port with a side outlet. And if you check properly in there, there is an inlet just in the middle of the structure. And that inlet is coming from that uh, structure you see there where the boy is stepping on. This was a biodigester. Out there where the gentlemen are, where that structure out there was a, a cow shed and we had two cows there. They would produce cow dung which we would feed through this uh, structure that the boy is stepping on and then the cow dung comes right into this dome shaped, shaped rather, structure through the outlet, the little outlet, the pipe that you see, if you can see it, in the middle of the, 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 the dome shaped biodigester. Now when the cow dung mixed with some ratios of water comes into this, then it biodegrades, bacteria are burned, and then it produces gas that hit a pipe outlet. The, the, the gas comes up the top of the dome shaft. This very much like what the Louis used to do in terms of brewing busa. Brewing uh, busa. The pot, the shape of the pot that used to brew that, you know, when the brew is fermenting, it produces some gas that bubbles on top. This was working in the same manner. So the bubbles, when the bubbles come, they are, they are captured by a pipe which was on top here. And then we had laid it out. We were using it in this house as electricity and cooking gas, I mean lighting and cooking. Now, when the gas is gone, then the cow dung has burned all the bacteria in it, it becomes slurry. And that slurry will now come through this side, will through this side outlet, and we would pick it as organic manure which is much better than DAP. Actually what you can see the gentleman gathering is the very uh, organic manure that had remained into this uh, biodigester. We have dismantled it because we have built a larger one, a new one and this one Rather than fill it up, you can see we have uh, rainwater wasting from this Mapati house. You can see this is uh, our also chicken cookhouse. This is cookhouse. You can hear the cuckoos. And we are now putting on these gutters. Okay, beyond you can see my avocado tree. Uh, the avocados are so high that we cannot be able to pick them well. If someone can help us with a technology that can pick those avocados from up there, we shall be very grateful. Otherwise, for now, we just wait until they drop down and they will not be uh, very useful to us. So, we are inviting uh, suggestions, creative people. How can we pluck those avocados from up there? So back to our uh, cook house, poultry uh, chicken. So this Mabati, we, 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 by design we used this iron sheet so that now we can capture the water and the water from this house. 
will come right into now uh, this structure. We are converting our old uh, biodigester into a storage tank so that we capture the rainwater and out there beyond, you'll see now we're going to make a kitchen garden. Of course, the old uh, fish pond, which is no longer functioning. And I want to say, all these things were dormant because of poor management. In any business, management matters a lot. Me being a suitcase farmer, so to speak, working from Nairobi and leaving a uh, local managers here yeah, challenges arose and therefore you can see that my fish pond uh, is no longer uh, functional aside from management there were local thefts that we could not contain and therefore that has taught us some lessons um, we believe we didn't fail because the word fail to us means F first, A attempt, I in L learning, first attempt in learning. So when you fail, you learn from the mistakes. So if you will be saying that, yes, our structure has failed, you'll be wrong because indeed in entrepreneurship, when you learn from a mistake, you make a better. So for those of you who didn't know, a small biodigester like this one will be enough to provide uh, power, light, and cooking uh, gas for your domestic use. And it used to come just from two cows. Two cows. In, indeed, even one can uh, produce enough if the initial cow dung you feed here can be fetched from somewhere. Because replenishing replenishing the biodigester does not require all that cow dung. And therefore, indeed, you are experiencing something that is doable, something that can be done in your own uh, 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 land. My small land here is not more than four uh, acres. I inherit, my father subdivided the land for us. I would have gone and bought more land elsewhere, but I thought I cannot run away from the community. I have to stay within the community and show that even with some little land, you can uh, do, uh, you can survive in agriculture. Now, because I am not uh, on land, my workers thought they can plant that maize. Maize on less than uh, five acres of, uh, I mean, five acres of land is not productive, but changing the mind can take a little bit of time. So I think I must thank, in one way, I must thank the corona pandemic that kept me at home so now I'm taking back some uh, projects that had, so to say, died and reviving them. So this was a former biodigester. I was self-reliant. My workers were self-reliant of cooking gas and lighting the house. We were not uh, uh, using Kenya power. So this is it. So now when we make this um, our underground water storage, when we capture the water from the roofs here, it comes and it will be coming through the structure, like I said, what the boy is uh, stepping on. We shall make all the gutters direct water there. The water will come right into this. We're going to cover now the top and then make it flat so that we can still plant some things on top of it. We are also going now to convert this as our 
source, I mean, uh, yeah, the, the, w w when we shall be sourcing the water that has gone into the biodigester so that we pick the, the water to go and use it for card, kitchen gardens. And this will also be covered so that when we cover it and we cover with the soil, out here we shall still have to, to plant some vegetables. Therefore, you do not have to make structures in the compound that again consume space for farming. You make it such that they are at the level at the level where you can still cover them with the, the, the topsoil and plant uh, easy easy crops. So this is a former biodigester being converted into an underground water storage, water being captured from the roof, from the rains, and therefore when there are no rains, we shall still have vegetables grown in these uh, gardens.